Oh, dude, this is so easy. Oh my gosh, I love this bike. It's so much fun. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are in the car right now, but we're going to be on a motorcycle. You might have seen me talk about rider share on Instagram or my last video. We're in Georgia and I rented a motorcycle, so we're on our way to go get it. Is yeah. this where we filmed the guy on the yeah, that's a motorcycle like with the, the... Oh, so yesterday, let me tell you what we saw yesterday. I saw a, well, actually, did you see it first? I seen it first. Oh, yeah. Well, that's right, you can take the credit. Oh, okay. He had his bicycle strapped to the back of his yeah, motorcycle. His mountain bike. His mountain bike. I know they make, like, a bracket for it, but I've never, ever seen anybody do that. So comment below if you've done that or if you've seen somebody do that. I'll put the picture in here because we took a picture of it. But anyway, before we get there, make sure you like and subscribe as always. Um, but I guess we'll just talk a little bit about rider share before we get there. And then I didn't ask him if I could film, so I'm probably not going to film picking the bike up. Um, but I'll talk about it when we get it. And I don't know, I don't think I'm going to tell you what I got. <laughs> we're uh, we're kind of in like a downtown area, so I didn't want to get a giant touring bike. So it's not a touring bike. Sorry to disappoint. So rider share is like the Airbnb of motorcycles. So you can rent other people's motorcycles um, and you can rent yours out to make money. And you can kind of have like your own motorcycle rental business. And there's people, there's a guy in Georgia that has like... I showed you. Yeah. It's, he's got like a whole shed full of motorcycles and helmets and it's like a business for yeah, him. Yeah, so all the gear you need. Yeah, and... all the gear. And it's cool. He's got a ton of bikes. But you can just rent your bike out um, to people and they have commercial insurance. So you're covered with the insurance. If you want to read more of the details about it, I will have my link in the description. Ridershare gave me a link for you guys so you can get $50 off of your rental. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of rentals that are less than $50 for a day. And I think your first ride is 20% off, so it works out pretty good. I've never done this before. So we're just gonna see how the whole process works and how easy it is. I mean, the nice thing about rider share is too, is that like when you would vacation somewhere or something like that, you were limited to what type of bike you could rent, right? Yeah. I mean, it was like you were like most places. It's like you'd have to find a dealer. Yeah, a dealership, rentals. right? And that's exactly. Only in like big cities, even in your hometown, if you want to just try out a different bike to see what it's like and have it for a day or two instead of just test ride it. I mean, especially right now, dealers just don't even have inventory. I haven't been able to find anything to test ride. You know in New York they do all kinds of checks so you're not just renting your bike out to somebody and you're not just renting your bike from some schmo so you feel a little protected and you don't feel like you're just you know picking something off a of Craigslist there's yeah. delivery too so you can have somebody meet you somewhere yeah, it seems like they kind of thought about everything really yeah yeah it seems pretty well put together and so far I have no problems um, and I was able I booked this like last night like super late at night and he approved it right away so um you know last minute stuff was really easy and i just picked the bike and put in all my information and it's done so we're going to be there in a couple minutes so i have to pay attention so we'll see you when we get the bike 11 minutes later Dude, the friction zone is like, you gotta let the clutch all the way out before yeah, it even catches. Right. Just, you'll get used to it. This bike is so easy. Yeah, probably one down and four up. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so different. What gear am I in, five? Are there six? Oh, there's six gears. Wow, no fairing. Oh, this is so cool, man. This bike is mint, it's so perfect. 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna get fuel first, I think. Man, it sounds like I'm going too fast. This thing is so little. So this is a MT-03. The good thing about rider share is for most of the bikes, I don't know if it asks the rider to input it or if they have it automatically input, but it tells you the seat heights. So when I was searching for something, I could automatically filter out anything over whatever seat height I wanted. Oh, I gotta push it in, okay. I'm not used to blinkers that don't self cancel. This I believe was 30.7. So I was unsure honestly how I would be able to do it, but this is so light. And it also says the weight of it too. So this is only 300 and change pounds. So it was great that I was able to filter by seat height. Um, or And right on the search page, for most the bikes that have it put in, it'll tell you what the seat height is when it comes up on search. So you don't have to go looking for it. Um, so it, it makes it so easy. Although this is only a little 300, this is all I need for around the city like this. I mean, we're gonna be in a pretty dense area. There's a lot of traffic and uh, this is gonna be awesome. So I've been wanting to try a sport bike and this is just kind of dipping my toes in it and getting a feel for it. So I'm gonna do another video actually on the bike and what I think about the bike. But I really just wanted to show you guys the process of rider share and how it works. So dude, it couldn't have been easier. Couldn't have been a nicer guy. I put in the mileage. I had to take pictures of everything, inspect it. Um, you know, I had to have a picture with a helmet on so they know, you know, he had to make sure that I had my license. I had to put in how much fuel was in it. I'm totally stoked for this because now when we come down to Georgia um, or anywhere, we go anywhere, I can make sure that there's gonna be a bike for me to rent if I can't bring mine. So it's nice for me to just be able to pick up something. Gosh, this is so different. I put my GPS tracker in here just in case. I mean, he didn't seem all that worried about it because like I said, there is insurance. Oh, dude, this is so easy. Oh my gosh, I love this bike. It's so much fun. I wish that New York was not a bunch of buttheads and I could do this in New York. Well, I guess the second part of this video is going to be me returning it. I can imagine that I'm going to have to... We're going to have to do the photo inspection again. My blinker is on, my, my blinker's on, oh, left and right, okay. The downside is if you like all these bikes, you're gonna want them. <laughs> Cause now I want one of these. I think I would want a, um, you know, one with that was a little more powerful, but dude, this is perfect. It's so light, man. And I had no idea, cause I haven't been on one of these. Really? No? I couldn't get a ticket. It wouldn't pop out. I don't know if I'm not heavy enough. I just drove around the gate. Three days later. Oh man. So this is, oh shit. <laughs> wow. Ow, man. Hello? Yeah. 
That thing came down on me. Did you see that? No. I was right behind you, and that thing f***ed up my arm, man. Well, why the f*** would you? You can't, two vehicles can't go out behind it. One vehicle, though. I know. Well, I, I stayed to the right, but I wasn't over right enough. At least it hit my arm and not the bike. Yeah. Hit my, it hit my helmet a little bit, and then it hit my arm. I'm fine. All right, guys, I'm bringing her back. I'm pretty sad. I was starting to have a lot of fun and be really comfortable on it and get very smooth with it. I had so much fun on it and uh, I, I'm just super excited that I was able to try this out here and take this bike out for a couple of quick little rides. I met up with Doodle out here in Georgia and uh, I also did a quick review on what I thought about this bike. If I was only able to test ride this for a few minutes from a dealer, I would never have gotten the feel for this bike. And I probably would have said, eh, I don't like it. But once I got the feel for it and I started to get smooth with it and proficient with it, um, dude, I love it. And you could have, you know, I don't know many dealers that are gonna let you take this out for more than just a quick little test ride. So something like this would really be able to give you a good idea if this bike or whatever bike you rent is one you're gonna want. You can ride it around for a few days. And just to be able to, to get to know the bike. To be honest, if I would have taken, if my test ride of this was how it felt when I first pulled this out of the guy's driveway and I drove it back to our hotel. Uh, I wouldn't have liked it because I didn't like how the clutch was. I wasn't used to it. Now I'm used to it and it's fun. <laughs> so guys, again, I didn't ask if I could film him, so I'm not going to film the whole trip, the whole transaction. Uh, but basically we got to take pictures again, make sure everything's good. We both check out in the app. Everything's all checked out and we're good to go. And then the trip will be over. So just like checking in and out of a hotel, you check in and out on your phone, you do it with this too, except you really take, you gotta take pictures and go through the whole process kind of to make sure that you took care of the person's bike and didn't cause it any damage. Well, now we're gonna be in traffic. So I'm gonna end this here because this is just gonna be all traffic lights. Hope this was helpful for you. Do not forget to check out my link for rider share so you can get 50 bucks off your first ride or $100 towards your first rental when you rent out your own bike. Check out all the details on how to put your bike up for rental if that's something you wanna do. I'm a fan. I'm gonna keep doing this and uh, I would highly recommend using Rideshare to find different bikes to try. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I put out new videos. And until next time, you ride safe, and I'll catch you on the next one.